It's a mine. A great big mine. Skipper! Hey, Skipper, where are you? Skipper, you gotta see this. It's got... And it kind of has... And, 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 oh, boy. Uh, Skipper! Skipper! What is this, Gilligan? An underwater iron mine? No, I managed to get it ashore. Well, Gilligan, we can't waste all day. Where is this mine? Over there by that rock, see? Gilligan, you cheated me. That's no mine. It's an overgrown pin cushion. Oh, it's a World War II mine. I told you. I told you. Oh, it's been a long time since I've seen one of those babies. Why, I remember... Shh. It's ticking. Ticking? Well, that means it's, a it's activated. Let's get out of here. It's liable to blow up. Yeah, let's... Over here! Over here! No, no! Over here. no, no. Over here. Over here. Over here. Gilligan, <laughs> will you... <laughs> got us into this. Have you got any suggestions? Help! <laughs> Mr. Howell, I'm afraid to open my eyes. Are we still alive? We better be. There's someone I want to cut out of my will. Who? You! <laughs> Gilligan, get away from that mine, and that's an order. I can't. It won't let go of me. The metal they're wearing has them glued to it. Mr. Howell, try forcing yourself loose, but gently, gently. I can't. It's starting to tick faster. Listen. Can flum, can flum, can flum. That's my heart. Gilligan's good luck charm is made out of steel. Mr. Howell's watch and identification bracelet are probably made out of steel, too. I beg your pardon. They're a gift from my board of directors. They couldn't be anything less than gold or platinum. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Howell, but that watch and identification bracelet are just gold-plated. Remind me to drop their options and change the lock on the executive washroom. Now listen, Gilligan, you're the only one that's skinny enough that can crawl under this mine and loosen that fitting with this brass wrench. But it's non-magnetic. But, Skipper... Gilligan, Gilligan, you must be careful because this mine is sensitive. It's very, very sensitive. Say, isn't it against the law to tinker with Navy property? But if they complain, I'll buy them a new battleship. <laughs> Gilligan, will you stop that? Now work fast. Right, man. We've got to work on this and loosen that fitting before it stops ticking. Don't worry, Skipper. If it stops ticking, we can rewind it. <laughs> Get under there, Gilligan. Now. Now. <laughs> I found a fitting. Gilligan! Don't hammer, turn it! Use your head, use your head. Use my head? <laughs> it's rolling back. Hang on, then. Hang on. Professor, you're let me get on this. Professor, you, Professor, you, Professor, you, Professor, you, Oh! Heavens, a mine disaster. The boy is trapped alive. My poor little buddy. Dumb old mine. I'm going to give him a good swift kick. Nope. Oh. That mine may blow up any minute. Well, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to use the raft to tow the mine out to sea. Far enough out where an explosion won't cause any damage. The professor's so tricky. I mean, it's have to blow up any minute. Whoever's trying out there... <laughs> Gilligan, would you get out of here? <laughs> well, it's dangerous, but it has to be done, and it has to be done now. All right, let's eliminate Mr. Howe. He's a married man. Well, and Gilligan, I don't want my little buddy doing anything so dangerous. It's up to me. No. Professor, you're too smart. They need your brain. No, power. no, no, Skipper. You're the leader. I'm expendable. There's only one way to do this. Quick and fairly, we'll cut the cards. Right. I did it. I saved us, Skipper. No more mine. There's a metal rudder on the raft. It'll attract the mine like a magnet. <laughs> Skipper! <laughs> Gilligan, with the mine safely towed out to sea, why don't you catch something really big for dinner? You bet, Skipper. I'll go get the big... Look. The mine! Hey, Skipper, I finally caught something big for dinner.